I'm back with the third episode of the X-Files video game. So where we left off, we basically um, met up with Mulder, obviously, Agent Mulder, and now he has told us that this uh, the girl's trailer is inside the trailer park, so now we just have to head there. Uh, what happened with Agent Mulder? He got bitten and nearly turned into a zombie, nearly died and turned into a zombie, but we managed to stop it by neutralizing the infection. It was t quite um, touch and go, but right now this is the only lead we have. Head back to the girls' trailer, and I know where the trailer park is, so I'm, I'm just assuming that it something has changed the trailer park last time it was there, which was in the last episode. So I know that no one will really watch this until maybe some time after, uh, uh, quite a while until after I've recorded this, but. I've got the new Mass Effect game on Xbox One. I'm going to play it tomorrow because tomorrow is Friday and therefore after I finish work, I've got the whole weekend to play. So that is going to be fucking awesome. I've waited forever for this game. I've heard a lot of bad things, so quite frankly, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, the Mass Effect Andromeda. Finally, it's out. It took a it took a couple days after the world release of it. Australia got it. Um, the oh crap! Oh, it's dead. Okay. And there's another one in here too, so I've got to be careful. Yes, um, we got it the twenty four third of March. The rest of the world got it on the twenty first. really should check out all these trailers. So we know that the townsfolk were really pissed off at these girls for practicing witchcraft and shit like that. And many of them blame the girls for, you know, all this bad shit from happening. So I don't know, I'll have to play Mulder to find out what exactly happened to the girl. Now, I have a feeling she did it him herself, but I don't really know, but she was just hanging from a tree. In fact, uh, when you do see it, you know, the music drops, it just, it's this horrific sound, it's terrifying. There we go, steps. Can't get to the steps. There's that big thing we noticed over there, a huge building with a huge sign on it, but I don't know what it says. Eventually we'll find out. Eventually we'll find out what the fuck's going on, and if I recall, there's like this whole lab and... Like someone above the town, someone was working on this virus. We might be able to get up over here, actually. Well, I remember one of the doors we couldn't open, perhaps Mulder has the keys. I remember that now. I was like, why would the game let us come here and then not get into this door? I didn't actually show the um, the footage, but I remember that in a previous episode where I, you know, died. We could climb up on a patio, but it wouldn't let us do anything, and I thought I thought that was pretty weird. This is it here, yes. Here we go, I found it. Cutscene. Looks like he found the keys. That's their underwear. Drying there. Now, I don't know if they were living together or if this is just one of their... Obtain Hector's garage key. Keys. The tag on here says Hector's garage. Hector's the stepfather? Yes. I passed the Hector's garage on the east side, but didn't look in. Mandy's diary. Her last entry was two weeks ago, but she mentions a hideaway called the Wheelhouse. We'll save time if we split up. I'll check the garage. Oh, you idiot. 
So this is where the game, you know, once again becomes two separate games. He's going to do his own thing, Scully's going to do her own. I've only seen one bed, so this belonged to one of the girls, and Hector was their stepdad, apparently. I'm hoping there was no bad things going on. Usually when you enter a hick town like this, a stepdad, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean, and I really hope that's not the case. Looks like you got, you know, your typical young adult, you know, room. Something over there, you know, underwear just flying around, clothes. Obtain aspirin bottle. Seeing pictures. Some sort of collage. Not seeing any sort of satanic, you know, ritual stuff. It just seems like an ordinary. The door won't open. I want to know now is how do we get to a place called Hector's Garage? They also mentioned something about a casino, I think it was. I think we can actually see the sign for the casino anyway. Matt. It's in town, JJ's Diner, Sheriff's Station. Perhaps we could go back through the... We have to basically go where Moller, Moller was. I'm thinking that's the only best... Uh, that is the best course of action at this point. Is to go back where Moller was because that's his little journey and he said that he passed it but he couldn't get in so obviously he just stopped. And of course the casino. Or some kind of bar. I couldn't really hear it. I'm going to have to go back through my own footage to watch... And listen, because I have to keep the volume down on my TV so the volume doesn't come through the microphone and I get this whole feedback thing. It's horrible. I'm just gonna drink a nice cup of coffee here. I've got one of the I've got a cappuccino here. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Cappuccino and video games. What a lovely combination. So tomorrow, Mass Effect will be uploaded on my channel. It is going to be awesome. I have waited ages for it. In fact, I was still waiting for it when it was in the PlayStation magazine. And it wasn't even like a pit. It just said um, Mass Effect 4. It had no concept of... Andromeda. It didn't even have any pictures from the game. It was all pictures from number three. That's how like old it was. It was just like a confirmed rumor. And now it's finally here. I'm really looking forward to it. But I also don't want to get set up for a huge disappointment. I've heard a lot of the reviews and they're bad. I've heard that it requires a shit ton of patchwork, especially with like the facial expressions and all that. I heard that eventually they will release it, um, a better updated version of all these problems solved, but there's no immediate solution to it. I mean, that was supposed to come out last year and like November last year, but it just came out today. So it's, you know, five months overdue. Oh, damn it. I went the fucking wrong way, didn't I? Yes, I did. The door won't open. If the door won't open, that means it's probably not. Oh, crap. Yeah. 
Let's get a backpack on. Does that mean that he's got something? I don't know what's making a kick. Honestly, I wish I knew. So that one was significantly di more difficult to take down. Obtain post office back door key. So that was a satchel. And here is the post office. Is it? Yes. It's always very typical for games, if you're doing something right, they will spawn new monsters in. If it's everything's, you know, just dead quiet, that means you're, um, you're going the wrong way. But when enemies start attacking you left and right, it usually means that you've done something right. You're heading the right way, you're on track. A big bin full of mail? Come on, this this town can't receive, I've honestly received that much mail. Not unless this is some sort of post where they obtain master PO box key. Not unless it's some sort of like outlet where it gets sorted a bit. I don't know. I don't know how the post office works. Pigeonholes. So we came through this one. We've got this door, we've got the big double door. Or oh, did we? Hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so we came through that door. That means we're gonna to have to bloody wait another loading screen. Oh, these loading screens are terrible. Oh, that's so good. So we came through that door, we can go through this door here. Probable that the two big doors lead outside. The computer, which is still on, fish tank, which is still going. Now, I don't know how long this town has been like this. Obviously, there's no survivors. Um, yeah, no survivors. They were unable to call for help, I know that, and the roads were blocked or something. So they were essentially trapped. They could have just run out into the wilderness, but they would surely die. Anyway, they didn't have communications whatsoever, so it's possible that a lot of the shit that was happening just sort of hit them without any warning, uh, without be any way to really warn everyone else. I just thought there might be something a bit extra in this room. Plant, let's see if I can take this herb. No, can't take the herb. This is where the PO box key must come in. I think we have to... Well, I think we have to go into the computer, find out which is the right one, and then we can access their mail. That guy took forever. 
put something on him. What has he got? Obtain ammo clip. Very good. This post office is massive. Just click in, click in, click in, make sure that I'm not missing anything. This must be the way out. Obviously, we don't want to head out just yet. We want to keep looking around, make sure that we find every little thing. Of course, when you see that little X at the bottom of the screen, that means that you can interact with something, either pick it up or open the door or something like that. I guess that's where those two um, doors go. They'll go behind that counter. So we're going to go back into those two big doors, go through said doors if we can. Knowing the sort of like, um, the algorithm of this game, some things you're just not going to be able to access and it turns out I was wrong. I suspected that we couldn't go through the door without something, something else to do, but we just can go straight in. You know, I remember this, obtain ammo clip. This is supposed to be a save point. Here we are. That was a real bitch to get to, actually. That was a real pain in the ass. Uh, Anyone got any mail? And I wish you could run. That's typical of these games, you just don't have the ability to run. Probably because she's wearing high heels. Yeah, she's wearing high heels. Well, not high heels, but she's wearing heels. Her ankles must be killing her. And we are out. Loading. So I got Mass Effect on Xbox One. I normally get my video games on the um, PlayStation 4, but this time I chose it for other reasons. I know that the PlayStation 4 graphics are probably a bit better, slightly better, but with the Xbox One, it's got superior processing um, power. And not to mention the fact that most of my games are on the um, uh, PlayStation 4 and I hate deleting video games and it's full it's like it's chockers it's not going to get any more I've got like no space so a game that big I would have to delete another major game and I just don't want to do that meanwhile the Xbox 3 uh, Xbox one is I've got plenty of room for it I won't have to delete anything I won't have to move anything around I can just you know put it in and play almost immediately because the Xbox One does have far superior processing capabilities. If it was on the um, PlayStation if it was on the PlayStation 4 I'd be waiting all day. I mean I'd be very curious. I'd have to wake up in the middle of the night and make sure that it's still processing because for some reason it could lose connection and then basically stop and then I would be fucked. I would have to restart everything. Well, not restart from the beginning, but I would have to start over. <laughs> Wasting valuable time. I just didn't want to take that risk. I want to play the game. Oh shit. I don't know how she kicks. I guess it could be on the right angle. He's not getting back up. He's not getting back up. So this is the other side of the truck now, what we couldn't get here before. Let's go ahead and check the map. 
Ah, oh, yes, so there's a truck there that we couldn't get through. And now we're in the main, uh, the town centre. So we can still head east and check out all the stuff east. So let's just do that. Oh yeah, this is where Moller um, found her. I believe he cut her down. But she was just hanging there. The dead bodies suggest that Moller came around and shot them. I think that's how he got the keys in the first place. He cut her down and searched her. I keep looking around. Poor girl. She was quite young. It was very, very bad that this happened to her. So that's the post office, that's obviously where we came from. We came out here, entered the town square. Now I just really want to make sure that I don't miss anything and the town is much bigger than what I originally thought. Granted, most of the places are locked but that just means most of them, not all. So I have to open them up, I could miss precious ammunition. That was the problem when I, if I recall, when I was playing this for the, like the first time back in the day, it was Hey, there's a bar here or a video store. The door won't open. I know there's a video store and Scully cracks a, um, a joke about Mulder going to the adult section. Let's check this bitch out. What the fuck? Get off me, get off me. Probably gotta check my health. Now I'm on fire. I've got halfway there. Oh. Oh. That is nuts. I went back. It appears that the fire is already hurting them, so really all I had to do was avoid direct contact with them. That was nuts. I was nearly about to just put down the controller, let them kill me, and then just go back to the post office. Because quite frankly, there's nothing much else to do. Probably can't get in there. Probably can't. Book might. Bookshop. Red Falls. Pedentials? Red, Red Falls. Oh, vacation rentals. I thought that was a P. Oh, she's taking forever.
Oh crap, crap, crap. Spawning out of that shit. I'm gonna go. Video, video, video. I know we can get in there. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. That guy was just about to leap attack me. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna save it after this. I might just record the episode, say thank you, uh, like, scrub, and shit, and then just, you know, turn it off and then just come back at another time and redo it because I'm getting my ass handed to me. Now that I realize, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure those guys are just going to keep respawning until that's it. They, I mean, they're just going to keep coming. Until I run out of bullets. This cappuccino is so good. It's one of those little satchel ones. I love it. I remember that scared the crap out of me back in the day. It, it looks kind of like a pervert, a huge pervert. Fucking hell, he's strong. Oh, damn, he wouldn't go down. Those aren't DVDs, they're VHS movies. You know, it's kind of interesting, like, if you go to, like, a small town in the middle of nowhere, and you stay at a hotel, you act they still actually have VHS movies, because, you know, why throw, throw them out? I've got a shit ton of VHS movies. When the um, video stores were closing down, I purchased a shit ton of VHS movies. I've got like 700 VHS movies in my um, shed. Many of them haven't seen the light of day in who knows how long. Oh, we can move the couch. Perhaps we can pull the couch? So I don't have to push anything. Perhaps the wrong way. Perhaps we hold. Yeah, we are. have to hold X. There seems to be something here. The door won't open. That's what, I, that's what I was doing wrong. You have to hold X and then push or pull. Huh. So this is the adult section and he was wearing a full trench coat. Obviously he was, you know, being a perv and just checking out the adult movies. So adult movies. I think this is actually smaller than Mulder's collection. See, funny? She said, um, I can't believe that was actually small. I believe this collection is smaller than Mulder's. And you know what? Uh, he's not ashamed of his sexuality. He probably enjoys it. And, um, no, I mean, like, he, he's not ashamed of it. He just, you know, shows it off when he has a chance, I'd say. Also came out wrong. What's this? The door won't open. Well, that sucks. The door won't open, which means there's no keys, and 
we probably just have to find some other way of uh, opening it. Gonna head back out in the wilderness. See if I don't get my face ripped off by a crazed zombie. Zombies. Yeah. So the one that's following me, if I kill him, he won't respawn, but anyone on fire? Probably should have. I should have, probably should have taken him out. <laughs> FYI, I'm not going to save it. This this has just gone so bad. I've lost too much health. I've wasted too much time. And I basically know what I need to do. So I'm not going to save it next opportunity. I'm just going to turn it off. And then next episode, even if there is another episode, because uh, I don't think anyone's going to really watch this until my channel really starts to take off. I'm sure my all 11 subscribers at this point in time, I've been doing this for like four months now. 11 subscribers, I don't know if that's really that good or bad, I've got no reference le uh, level. This li these lights look on. Yeah, I've got no reference level. But I've got like um, nearly nine, 1900 reviews. Uh, 1900 views. So... I don't know. I really don't know. But so far this year, I mean, I started off with nine at the start of the year and it's gone up to 11. No, I'm sorry, eight. At eight at the start of the year, it's gone up to 11. So I'm averaging one per month. There's the gas station. This is probably locked. It's e the gate is electronically locked. Oh crap, 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 crap. So, on another note, I was recording Subnautica, and there is a problem. It only affects people with Xbox Ones, and it only affects a very small percentage of the people who have Xbox One. But for some reason, it, it just won't let you save. And I'm, I'm sorry, scratch that. It will let you save, but it won't let you load your last save. It's just, it just keeps going back to the menu. It says, unknown error. And I looked it up, and said that it's a problem with one of their last updates. They're trying to fix it, but... I got fucking taken out by a cat. By a cat.